life as a touring theatre performer can be spent living out of a bag, in and out of hotels, and missing out on home comforts and familiar surroundings for months at a time. But the chap that I'm about to meet has come up with an ingenious plan to take his home on the road and keep the show on the road. Fred is not your average performer. He's a puppeteer whose job takes him all over the country. And with a West End show on the horizon, he wants to crack on building his home away from home. So, George, this is the caravan, and this is my mum, Jo. Jo, lovely to meet you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, you bought him a caravan? I did. This 40-year-old vehicle is certainly showing its age. The exterior is tired and decaying. There's no doubt this caravan needs love. It's a proper mum and son project. 100%. I did all the designs for it. So you designed it as part of the birthday present? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And what's it going to look like inside? It's going to be eclectic. Uh... Eclectic, I love that. Yeah. That's like a get That's out of anything. jail card for going, anything absolutely. goes. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything goes. <laughs> Everything goes. Can you show me around the inside? Yeah. Talk absolutely. me through what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Let's check out your birthday present. Oh, man. It's seen better days, hasn't it? It has. Look at the state of this. Yeah. It's all we're going to need ripping out. Now I can see why it was 250 quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely shot. I mean, that's a classic case of a caravan this age when you've got a skylight. Mm. It's just been leaking in the gap between the skylight and the roof. And look yeah. at the state of that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> 250 quid, though. Yeah, right? Not bad for your first house. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad at all. Fred and his mum have got a vision to transform this into an amazing space. To the rear, a sitting area with sofa table and chairs that will double up as a second bedroom. While the master bedroom will be at the far end with a toilet and shower room beside it but it will be in the fully equipped kitchen that this puppet master will be doing most of his R&R. &R. I really, really like cooking. It's one of my things. If I was going to be living in this, I can't be, you know, surviving on pot noodles. So you're a bit of a chef as well? Yeah, yeah. A guy of many talents. Wow, well, thank you. If you can pull this off for a 1,000 quid when it's in this condition mm. and do something really good as your home, yeah. this is not just a little caravan to use at the odd weekend. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be your home. Yeah, it's That funny. will be... Incredible. But before anything new can go in, everything old has to come out. First job for Fred and Joe is stripping out all the old ceiling. That is disgusting. Yeah. I've been itching to get going on this roof since I first saw you. Yeah. I need some tools, mate. That'll do. Oh, that, there you go. You. That'll do nice. Right. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells lovely. Yeah. Oh, it's like after you've gone on a walking holiday and you've worn the same socks for four yeah. days. <laughs> oh! oh. I'm getting out of it here as well. Oh, wow. This is just hate mush. Yeah. Oh. Is it still the plan that this is going to have a, a cool little kitchen for you to be? Yeah. Wonder Chef. Yeah, absolutely. Good. And uh, hoping to use it for uh, more than just, just cooking for me. But what doing, have you got in mind? I want to be doing pop-up uh, dining sort of events for charity, for uh, cancer research, actually. Hang on, you've gone from just having a nice little kitchen for you to make meals for yourself mm. to doing pop-up events yeah. where you're going to be providing dining for people yeah. to raise money for cancer charities. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big leap, mate. <laughs> it wasn't a, a big enough project, so, you know, had to, you know, bump it up. Mum, where's this come from? What's, why has he got this in mind? Well, because I have beat cancer into touch. You've beaten uh, cancer? I've been diagnosed and had it ripped out and am officially in recovery. Brilliant. Well so done, we you. So we wanted to put something back. You know, so everyone knows someone who's had cancer now. So let's find a great way of helping that. I'm over the moon. I'm chuffed to bits. And the fact that you're going to 
take this to the next level yeah. and do pop up dining events <laughs> to raise money. Amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. With this added ambition thrown into the mix, the clock really is ticking to get Fred's build underway. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's looking good. Really, really good start. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got to build it all back again and better. Yeah. That's good the exciting challenge. bit. That's the exciting bit. Yeah. Do you know what? It's a really exciting project. Yeah. And I can't wait to see it finished. So good luck. Thank you. Keep Thank going. You. Thank you for your help. You. I'll see you at the end. See you in yeah. a bit. Take care. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Hey, Mush. Yeah. With the dilapidated interior gutted, it's time for Fred to insulate his new home. Got it? You're not ready to stick I yet. don't know. It's already more work than I uh, thought it was going to be. Just the first step, which was, you know, waterproofing, I thought, you know, have that done a day, you know, easy. Um, and, yeah, several weeks. You could cook an egg on that. Come on, then. What, get an egg? No, let's get on. It's been quite rainy, and uh, trying to waterproof something in the rain is a real issue. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's been, that's been a real pain, trying to wait for those dry days and the day you think is going to be dry, so you get started, and then it starts raining, and you're like, ah, oh, great, OK, cool. Well, we'll start again tomorrow, maybe. But rain, wind or shine, the show must go on, and it's time for Fred to move on to the kitchen. He cuts the wood for the work surface. Fred plans to use his caravan not only as a place to live while on tour, but also as a pop-up where he can organise dining events to raise money for cancer charities. I can totally imagine myself, you know, two frying pans on the go, tossing two things, and it's just like going great. People sitting out there for the charity event and just being like, right, order up, and uh, you know, carrying a thing over. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be nice. I'm excited. Hello there. Hi. You're all done? Yeah. The outside is certainly a lot sharper. It looks almost brand new. I'll tell you, the caravan's looking so good. Give it a clean, give it a nice paint job. Is it waterproof? Absolutely waterproof. We had the most torrential rain last night. Uh, the, we were in the caravan and it was shaking while we were in there. And uh, not, not, not a, a drop. drop. And yeah. Crikey, look at this. Yeah. You're well set up, aren't you? Yeah. So is yeah. tonight going to be the first night that you're going to be cooking and doing a bit of fundraising? Yeah. yeah. It is indeed. This yeah. is going to be amazing. Can we yeah. go inside and have a look? Yeah, let's do it. A few months ago, this caravan was in a terrible state. Mould, damp and rotten infrastructure had rendered it uninhabitable. Oh, my God. Now, thanks to Fred and Joel, it's totally transformed into a stunning space. A truly eclectic riot of colour, style and retro chic. This puppeteer can now live with no strings attached. You've pulled off a minor miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty damn good. I should have expected it, really. It's, uh, it's theatrical. <laughs> it looks fun. It's a little bit quirky. I wouldn't expect anything less. Come on. <laughs> it's light, it's bright, it's colourful. You've got lots of patterns. Yeah. So it's just amazing. Stunning. Your kitchen, great. Yeah. Mm. Loving that. Yeah. So that at the back, do you know what? I actually genuinely thought they were real tiles. That's Rats. the point. We <laughs> needed to keep the weight down. Yeah. But I wanted to get some spank into it. Yeah. Of course. You just can't load this up with too much weight. No. no. So everything you've had to do has been a kind of light touch, but a colourful touch as yeah. well. I'm loving these little mini shelves. They're so cute. I'm, I made those and Mum's painted them with great colours. And you've got lots of beautiful things in here. Gorgeous little pots and plates. Handmade by me. Oh! I have just spent several weeks learning to throw pots so that I can give Fred, who loves his cafetiere on his, uh, his cooker, yeah. palm cups for having an espresso or a cappuccino. They are beautiful. Another lovely thing, going to bring little memories back of your mum, you know, when you're sitting there in your car park, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> at the back of the theatre in the winter, <laughs> freezing, drinking hot coffee from these. You'll be thinking, thank God my mum made these for me. So smart. Mm. Can I do an inspection of your shower room yeah. and bed? You've got posh in here. <laughs> 
Oh, I love those tiles. A beautiful colour. And I love the floor tiles as well. And then you got your bedroom. Oh, and there's my mate Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Hello, mate. <laughs> I've missed you. Well, I think you've done unbelievably well. Come on, let's have a chat outside. There's no doubt that Fred and Joe have done a fantastic job in creating a perfect home from home for this touring puppeteer. But will Jimmy have to pay rent to help pay the bills? Your budget was £1,000. How much did you spend? We definitely okay. blew the budget. Yeah. More like £1,500. In fairness to you guys, doing all that for, let's say, 1500 quid, 250 quid to buy it. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, for less than two grand, you've got a home from home. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty it's good. It's going to save you a fortune. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty amazing. So proud. It's really, really nice. I'm really, really pleased. You've got some work to do. Yeah. You've got to cook for tonight, mate. We've got to raise some money. Got some people to feed. Let's do it. Let's do it. With the finishing touches in place, the guests start to arrive for the event, and Fred is in his element, cooking in his new home from home, which will soon be in London's West End. It's safe to say that this artist has pulled off a real showstopper. Fred is not only a puppet master, but he's now a master builder.